All right, welcome to the home studio tour. Today I'm just going to show you my gear I use to record. So, let's get it started. Okay, first things first, my babies, my guitars. So we're looking at a Martin Custom X-Series acoustic electric guitar. I've had this thing for more than two years, probably three years now, coming up November. I love it to death. Just restrung it. Sounds sick. Okay, so FYI, I only use Martin strings or Elixir strings. Uh, I got mediums on this. You can kind of tell they be like so thick and everything. And I love it because you get nice tones and like drop C, which is my favorite tuning to play in, blah, blah, blah. This is my little thing that makes it electric. Uh, phase button, which is fun. Volume, which is always fun. It has a tuner, but I don't have a battery in it right now. Yeah. Good old plug. Velcro strap. And it's made out of memory foam, which is why it's on the bed. Maybe. So that's my baby, and I love it very much. Let's move on to other guitars. Okay, so we're looking at my Rogue Double Humbucker Electric Guitar. It is my uncle's old electric guitar he gave to me. Six string, obviously. It is beautiful. It has volume and tone. That is it. That is all you need to survive in guitar world. And a plug. Uh, and monster cables. So yeah, three-way switch. It's beautiful. Sounds heavenly. If the volume works. That's my electric. Love it dearly. Let's talk amps. PV Viper 15 watt modeling amplifier. Only the best. Um, master volume is beautiful. Uh, it's got all these built in effects tremolo chorus, EMV filter, slap back, stupid autofocus, flanger, tube screamer, uh, tap tempo. You can make uh, the delay faster or slower. And there's a reverb. So delay, reverb. You can change those. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, and you can change how much of it, like... Going a little bit, or a lot of it. It's a little glitchy, but I love it to death. You can set all these different presets. I have three banks, A, B, and C, and four of them. Four, uh, four times three is twelve. Okay, quick rundown on the Boss ME70. We got a guitar multiple effects pedal. It's got your basic ins and outs, left and right, in, whatever. It's got a expression pedal, which is sweet. You can control it with your foot. It's got all these different pedal effects, all these different buttons and I don't even know what they do half the time uh, different amps blah 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 if you want to sound low middle or high how loud how loud do you want your reverb how loud do you want to be overall you can hit this button if you're so lazy you're like okay you know what I don't know what any of this does I'm gonna do this and this and then now it's a magically it sounds awesome so I use that button sometimes if I'm in a lazy mood it has all these user pre uh, preset banks you can use it's four times like nine user banks so you can get 34 something banks it's ridiculous um that's the boss overdrive compression and junk uh, all different overdrives mods all this, junk. this is how I do a lot of my stuff mod and overdrive and delay this is the best thing you'll ever see on any of my videos, the phrase loop. I can do something, jam to it, then tap this, and it loops it over and over for infinity. And then I can play on top of it, hit it again, and I can record something else on top of it. Stop it, 
record something else on top of that. Stop that, record something else on top of that, and repeat the cycle over and over and over and over. Double tap it, and it's over. And that is the Boss Me 70 It's awesome. You should get one. It's, like, expensive but worth it. I want to say three to 400 Don't quote me. Uh, but you should get it if you ever want to play guitar, especially electric, and you want to sound amazing. Yep. Boss Me 70 I used to use this. This is pretty noteworthy right here. Record out. I used to run a record out 8th inch cable to my computer and record junk with it. But that was so terrible of a system that I just decided, you know what, let's get some gear. Which is why I bought my baby, the Focusrite Sapphire Pro 14, which I love very much. It is basically a 4 in, 4 out box that I run to my co computer, not that one, this one, Firewire, beautiful, uh, run a XLR to the mic, which is also helpful, because I, I, that's like the only way you can record, ever, with a mic, phones, I can plug in my headphone here, my mix that's coming from my mics, which is awesome. Speaking of hearing things, this is the only way I could ever hear things through my bad boys, the M Audio Studio Pro 3s, which came with the box. The whole pack uh, with the mic and the speakers was like 400 something. Totally worth it. And I just run them directly into my laptop, which is awesome because then I can mess with it on my laptop. So, good headphones make any mix sound awesome. I use the Audio-Technica ATH-M30s, which I love. They sound great. They're pretty comfortable. I'm picky when it comes to comfort. These, these are about as good for the price range. They're about 60 bucks, which is pretty good. Uh, this one's not Monster, but it's teal, so I love it. It's just a straight-up uh, instrument cable from, like, Musician's Friends. So, yeah, I love it. Look at that MXL V6 blah 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 mic, 3M. Um, it's just awesome. I have it upside down just so that I can get better sound. I like it that way, and I just kind of angle it. So yeah, a few inches away. Love it. It's a condenser mic. It's about 100 bucks retail, but it's totally worth it. It's like perfect for what I try to do, so... It actually gets good guitar tones, a little bassy, but I love it. So, And I can just use EQ on my laptop when I want to and turn off the bass or boost the mids or the highs or whatever. So it's awesome. I don't want to talk about my computer stuff just yet because I'm going to do a separate video for that. But I basically run a VGA to a second monitor so I can kind of see what's going on. Like if I want to listen to Coldplay, for instance. Or if I want to work on something on Reaper, I can pull it into my second screen and work on something there, then, and find loops. And then play with them and plug and chug and do whatever I want to do. So that's awesome. Love having a second monitor. It makes life really easy and nice and sweet. Use my external hard drive. Mostly not. But it's pretty sick, and it holds like 2 terabytes, so I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's all my gear. Um, that is the ins and outs of my whole rig here.